Getting through, um, in my opinion, deals with the pain of loss, um, from death, from betrayal, from a whole bunch of different things. Then it gets even more personal. You know, when troubles come to the Christian household, what do we do? How do we cope? What if you can't forgive someone who's seriously injured you? Well, I kind of see Brian's point. Sammy, a high school senior, jumped in. I've just turned 17, and no, I haven't done it yet, but I want to. Man, sometimes I see a babe, I mean a girl, a woman, whatever, and she's dressed in some come hither kind of outfit, and my mind just goes there. There should be a law cautioning women not to dress like that. It messes up men's heads. Well, let me speak for myself. It messes up my head. Do you think the way women dress messes up guys' head? How we dress does affect how guys um, approach us and think of us and all that. But it's a new pretty, so <laughs> I guess um, I'm okay with it to a degree. So we do carry ourselves very well, and it might be it might be a little form fitting, but that's how that's our generation, that's our day and age, you know. I think sometimes it does affect how we think about people, but if we have some self control, we can handle that way they dress in this generation. Guys have self control. Yes. Things change. How should Christian young women dress so that they look? different. As a Christian young woman, I think um, all of us, we should just like modest, you know, um, the long v-necks and all that are kind of exposing. But um, yeah, we have an image to maintain and for Christian women to be different, we need to dress differently. So an example would be we're covering clothes maybe not so much fitted, a little loose. But they should wear like, not, just not wear clothes that reveal their chest and thing, you know, and tight, 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 like that. You know, be modest about it. Um, yeah, say if, if I'm on the street chilling, then I see a girl wearing like some, a tight, tight mini skirt, and like a shirt like revealing her chest, I'm gonna think that she's like, you know, very loose. Okay, when I see a girl just like that, I lose, I'm not going to say I lose respect for her, but respect for her, but in a way, I feel that she didn't respect herself. He started drinking, he's starting to do a lot of things that a Christian young man shouldn't do. Now, Brian is in the church, and so the friends have seen this happening, and they, up to this point, haven't done anything. So they decide to confront him, and say you gotta stop this and we're not gonna let you do this anymore. So how do you feel about friends who start straying? I believe our responsibility to our friends that are straying is to still be their friend and <clears throat> and as Olivia was saying be a leader, be a role model, be an inspiration through how you live and still show that um, you care about those that you care about those friends. Um, that not because you're a Christian, you pay them no mind anymore. Yes, they do different things, but show you can even show who Christ is through showing how you care about them and how seeing them stray um, brings you much pain. Um, I just tell them straight up, what are you doing? Like, get focused with your life. I was going down the wrong path. I want my friends to do the best they can to try to get me out of it. And as Christians, we should always try to help people go on the straight and narrow path and try to get to God so we can all see them in the kingdom of heaven later on. Though the book deals with several tough issues, in many ways, I think it's, it's a good read. There's humor, there's triumph of, you know, life over death, there's, there's all those things happening. But I think it also deals with issues faced by real people. You will recognize either somebody you know or somebody, something you've gone through in this book. And it will help you, as it's helped me, deal with some of those things. Getting through. It's about me. It's about me.